Sustain that hit! So it's really easy to play Name That Hit. Step 1. Get everyone together on the platform of your choice. It could be Cisco WebEx, Google Meets, Microsoft Teams, Zoom. You name it, we can host on it. The platform of your choice. Then what we do is we get everyone together and we will send them into their breakout rooms. Now, this can either be random or you can choose the breakout rooms yourselves. Let's say you wanted the interns to be with some of the senior management. You wanted bonding between IT and HR. Entirely up to you. So what we do is we send everyone into their breakout rooms for three minutes and you have to come up with a creative team name that includes your team number. So for example, if you're in team number one, you could be in one direction or one quiz to rule them all. If you're in team number two, it could be too smart for you. So then what you do is you bring everyone back and they will tell us the names of their teams and we have a little bit of a moment to celebrate. And maybe they've even got matching backdrops. Who knows? Then they rename themselves their first name followed by their team name. So it could be Ben, uh, too hot to trot. Simple as that. Now we get to the gameplay. So the way Name That Hurt works is... There are 15 seconds per song. So you have 15 seconds per song and you have to try to name the song and the artist correctly. So you've only got 15 seconds and you need to put the name of the song and the artist into the chat that spoke correctly. So you've got 15 seconds We're saying that's correct, that was the name of the song and the artist. Uh, who got the point? The fastest person in the chat. So it could be Ben from Too Hot to Trot. Great, so what we do is we'll take a note that Ben got that point, and most importantly, that his team got that point. And then at the end of the game, we'll tally it up to see who got the most points overall. And it's as simple as that. And so we do this going all the way through the decades, from 1960s to 2010. <laughs> So let's say that at the end of the game, we have a tiebreaker. Two of the teams both have 13 points. Well, what do we do? Well, what we do then is we have those two teams go in a head to head. I will say or sing a line from a song and they have to tell me the name of the song and the artist and they have to sing the next line back. So let's, for example, I said, Billie Jean is not my lover. Then they have to go, Billie Jean, Michael Jackson. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. Or even just say it back. And it's as simple as that. That's how we decide the winner. Name that hit head to head. Oh yeah. However, what makes this game really special is that you can tailor it towards what you want. So... Because the game goes from 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, there's something for everyone so no one gets left out and this game is incredibly accessible, even if you turn up late. We've got something for everyone, whether you're 18 or 80, whether you're English, European, American or Canadian, this, this game speaks to everyone, so everyone has a chance to name that hit. So let's say you want to speak easy. We could have time after each song for people to chill, maybe have a drink, chat about the memories of the song. Or if you want hardcore challenge, then we pit people against each other and we have song after song after song. Now we have 180 songs. That's right, we have 180 songs. And so what that means is we can last for ages. Gameplay can be between 10 to 15 minutes to 90 minutes, however long you want. And the amount of players is entirely up to you. The more the merrier. However, what I would advise is making sure that there are enough players in the teams that everyone gets a chance. And at the same time, not having too many people because otherwise, well... If you're in a smaller team, you've got maybe 1 in 12 chance if there's 12 teams. What's if there's 5 teams, for example? Then you've all got a fighting chance. So that's how to play Name That Hit. At the end of every game, we'll send you a picture of all the players to commemorate and celebrate this special occasion. We've had people singing and dancing and, and putting things into the chat, putting their funny comments into the chat. And also, it gives something that people can bond over. After this event, they can go away and they can talk about where they were when they first heard this song. Or have they seen that artist or band before? Or, you know, maybe they have a funny story that they want to share. We want to get people talking. Now... We want to over deliver on this game. And so if you've really enjoyed it, we also give the opportunity to get the playlist from the game. That's right, 180 songs for free. 
So if you want a copy of our professional standard playlist, all 180 songs, then all you have to do, all we ask, is that you fill out a really quick form. At the end of the event, we'll put this form into the chat. And if you want a copy of the playlist, all you have to do is answer five quick questions. One, what's your name and email address so we can send you the playlist? Two, what do you like? Three, what can we improve? Four, is there anything else you'd like us to know? And five, do you know anyone that would love this event just as much as you did? Because if so, put us together. And if they book, then they get to have magical moments too. And you get paid. We'll give you a bit of money. Everyone's a winner. It's as simple as that. So that's how to play Name That Hit. We're really looking forward to seeing you on another event soon. So come and join us and hit us with your best shot.